So Ponding really can't afford to do that against any bowling, but the left arm fast bowler going across you with the ability to bring it back into the right hand. A dangerous toy if you just lunge and fall onto the front foot. Tough time for Ponding this series. Nice shot. What a lovely way to get off the mark, particularly when you're out of form. A perfect straight bat, down through mid on. First 11. That's 12 overs. Now that's nicely played. Ponting hasn't got anything through that area so far today. This will go to four. That'll be four. Can't have everything, David. He was on time for the toss. And lost it. Steve will win the toss in Australia, batting first. Nice shot from Ponding. That's a good shot. Very good shot. He's picked out his spot there on the onside. That uh, boundary bringing up the 100 for Australia in the 19th over. Ponding had a tough time in the Test Series and so far in the limited overs matches. Did get centuries in both innings of a match in between the test matches so it hasn't all been disastrous as far as being able to score on this tour but he hasn't played many of those shots at the highest level keep wickets intact another single to ricky ponting probably that also contributing to a much steady batting approach by the australians building up partnerships something uh, they haven't been able to do in the one days as well as test matches so that whole theory been resorted to by the Australians and that's the one that's his off century that's very well bowled but no slip in there to take the catch Hom Ponting steers it away well perhaps that's uh, giving him a little bit more credit than he deserves I think it is probably a, a ball that beat him but uh, he hasn't been beaten often today and this will be a relief for Ricky Ponting back in business just the kind of break you need as a batsman when he's struggling for runs I think it was the top spinner that Harvajan Singh bowled at him when the man was on 49. Onto the front foot and the ball going the other way. Didn't pick it up. But got the outside edge very fine quickly for the Australians. Again the over spinner. And this time I think Ricky Ponting picked it up uh, better than the last time. Running it down to third man and Heyman Badani couldn't reach it. There have been a couple of over spinners bowled to Ricky Ponting. The first one we saw a couple of overs back. And this is the one you see in the air. If you watch the ball in the air, you can never go wrong. Very clear indication that that was the top spinner. Ricky Ponting didn't pick that up too well. And the second time, there again the over spinner comes. And Ponting equal to the task, getting more on top of the ball and more in the line. So 132 for one. I mentioned that it was pretty warm out here. Uh, Ponting getting the uh, cold towel treatment. Boy, that's a, that's a lovely feeling when it's, uh, it's as hot as it is here. It, he's doing it uh, in a loving manner too, Simons. It's pretty cute, isn't it, really? Look at this thing. That's beautifully played. Lovely leg glide. Ponting, I think, picked up that that one was just sliding down the leg side and... Uh, just uh, closed his wrist on it nicely, so uh, that was very well played. Well, he's growing in confidence, Ricky Ponting, and the full range of his shots now beginning to see. And this one, just a slightly angle on the leg side, picked it up quickly. Sachin Tendulkar, um, I think he's probably itching to have a bit of a go as well with the ball, but uh, it's going to be uh, Ganguly. He's taken 98 uh, wickets so far, Tendulkar. Oh, that's it, straight back down the ground, and uh, it should be for a full toss first ball and played nice and straight by Ponting. Ganguly continuing. He's found the gap there. This outfield is quick enough for the ball to reach the boundary. That's another boundary. Ganguly will not be happy with that at the Pace Foundation. Excellent timing once again. He's batted well today, Ricky Ponting. And once again on that last occasion, he wasn't trying to hit the ball too hard. Down the wicket he comes. 
he might go for two yeah Hayden will touch down back they come that's Ricky Ponting century Ricky Ponting has registered his seventh one day international hundred it's his third in India and it's his second against India and what's more it's significant he's had a bad time of it he may well have turned the corner yeah, good applause from his teammates because they know that it's been a tough time for Ponting. They backed him by leaving him in the side at number three and he's given them uh, some reward for their support. So, well played to Ponting. Oh, it's in the air. This is going to be out caught. Ponting's hit it straight up. It's going to be caught. Tendulka takes the catch. Ponting trying to hit it straight down the ground. Has miscued the ball. Sachin Tendulkar is as safe as a house. He watched it go up. He manoeuvred himself into position. He waited and he caught it. Australia doesn't want to lose both these men in the next 10 minutes or so because there's still 14 overs remaining. So Ricky Ponting trying to just get rid of some of that tension and he just sliced it up. Easy catch for Tendulkar. So Hayden is still there at 104. Now he will have to bat the next 10 overs or so. Ponting out for a century. 